Determination is the fuel that propels dreams into reality. You are welcome to the Industry Insider Show right here on Model TV Ghana, and my name is Ganyu Binikwe. Today, we are revered to accommodate a young lady whose journey optimizes resilience and courage. From the eyes of victory to the challenges of defeat, she has navigated the world of modeling and beauty pageants with grace and tenacity. Currently, the title holder of the prestigious Miss Heritage Ghana 2023 and poised to represent Ghana in the Miss Heritage Global 2024. Join us as we uncover the inspiring story of determination and perseverance with our esteemed guests. But please don't forget to click on the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel. My name once again is Kanye Binikwe and my guest today is the beautiful, enchanting, I mean, the words, the, I don't even know the adjective to describe this lady because she's out of the blue. I mean, I'm wearing blue and this lady is out of the blue. Let's welcome Francesca, Miss Heritage Ghana 2023. Quinn, you're welcome. Thank you. And thank you for having me as well. Right. I am also grateful for you coming. I won't lie about this. Truly, truly grateful. All right. So if you step in every room, the very first question they'll ask you is, who is Francisca? Mm -hmm. So who is Francisca? Francisca is a determined person. Right. She believes in God. She's hardworking. She doesn't let anyone deter her from her original plan. Great. So Francisca schooled in the Volta region, Peki Senior High School, precisely. Peggy. Senior High School. <laughs> so I'm a Pescosa. I can see that. Yes. And I attended Regent University College of Science. Yeah. And I also schooled at um, Graceland International School and then Ascension School Complex for my primary. For primary education. I have a degree in human development and psychology. Human development yeah. and psychology. So that's basically who that's this guy is. Yeah. All right. But she said swing. So in case you see my twin outside, you you, you don't what have to did you just say you are a twin. <laughs> yes, I'm a twin. So a boy and a girl or two ma two, two females. Yeah, two females. So no, uh, what's the difference between the two of you? Ah, uh, yes, you are mixed twin, identical twin, non-identical, what have you? No, we don't look alike. You don't look alike. Not at all. Maybe some features are identical, but no, you don't look alike. We don't. So, am I sure I am speaking to the real Francisca? You are. Okay, sure. Beautiful. Uh -huh. So, Francisca, um, somebody will ask or I'll ask, mm -hmm. who was Francisca before winning Miss Heritage Ghana 2023? So, Francisca was a very shy person. She was okay. someone you could call an introvert. Okay. She doesn't like the crowd. She likes to keep to herself. Oh, uh, and um, she was just this quiet person that you would see in town and wouldn't like know it's a beauty queen or something like that. But throughout the years, she had worked on herself. I've fully worked yeah, on myself. Definitely. And I was first runner up for the Face of the Girl International. Face of the Girl in Nigeria. International. What's... Um, before you continue, what is Dega? The Dega. The so Dega. it was a beauty contest basically to talk about businesses. All right. Yes. So we enter, it's, um, should I say a house? Where we are housed. We're housed for more than 30 days and they'll bring maybe a brand on board. We'll see the issues pertaining to the brand, the solutions and all that. And we dive into it and defend it. And out of how many contestants? Well, Lord. Well, lost from different. There were Nigerians there. There were Togolese parts, Ghanaians. Like it was basically. And you were what first runner? up Yes, first runner. Who won? Up. Which country? The only Ghanaian actually that was in the house, uh, and you were the only Ghanaian in the house. And the other countries were Nigerians. No other, should I say, West African country, country was, was able to make, make it. it to that level so i was the only Ghanaian, and i strived and i think my people also supported me i don't even think they really supported me and i made it true why there was voting process and all of yes, that yes there was and i was in nigeria so I had the transfer couldn't be done online so i had to get 
it to my account, try to vote for my account, see who can in Nigeria that I know can help me vote. It was that kind of process. Guys, this is mesmerizing. I mean, yeah. you're a first runner. Congratulations. Thank you. Right. So I also know you've done other things. So yes, I'd love you to touch on that as well. So after Face of Dega, I was the second runner up for Miss um, Supermodels Africa. Africa. Yes. And from there, I went to Miss Ghana. I was part of the top five. Top five. And then I'm currently Miss, Miss Ghana 2022. Ooh, yes. And now I am Miss Heritage Global. Uh, no, not Global, yes. But definitely. Hey, yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yes. Amen. So, Amen. 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 Yes. Miss Heritage Ghana 2023. So. Great. Great. So you were from Miss Ghana yeah. before going to Miss Heritage. The big question is. You know, when we say Miss Ghana, we are talking about Ghana, like you are the face of our whole country. Then after that, you couldn't um, succeed a, yeah. at that space mm -hmm. and you decided to be what Miss Heritage. Mm -hmm. What was the inspiration behind it? So before I was crowned Miss Heritage Global, okay. Ghana, in fact, I keep saying global. That means God is telling me something. So God is telling you something. <laughs> and it is true this show that God is telling you this thing. And you go and you win and you come back and come. Amen. And, you, you come and testify here, 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 here. <laughs> so um for Miss Heritage Ghana, okay. I didn't go into the competition. Okay. I was selected. All right. So, so first and foremost, the big question is is Miss Heritage um a competition in Ghana? Yes. So, uh, formerly, uh, Miss Tourism Ghana. Okay. The, I think the runner up or the queen goes okay. for Miss Heritage Ghana global. Okay. That's the international pageant. Right. But the franchise was changed. Okay. So it's now with someone else. And is the person a Ghanaian? Yes. Oh, okay. The person is fully Ghanaian. Fully Ghanaian. Fully Ghanaian. Ghanaian. Yes. <laughs> Right, so tell me, what was the inspiration behind? Because after going for Miss Ghana, we know that, okay, this guy has reached a, a pick of a career. She's going to start because you were even part of the top five. Yeah. That was a remarkable achievement. Yeah. So what's, when, and when you received the message that, were you, uh, uh, um, like, were you pre-informed that you were going to be set for the Miss Heritage Ghana? So I wasn't pre-informed. I okay. just got a call and the lady behind said, are you ready for something? I was like, ready for what? And then she mm -hmm. told me, um, I think you should, you can do more. You don't just have to end it here and set back. There is more to do. And I was like, more to do in terms of pageantry. I'm totally done. And then she was like, no, there's still more to be done. I think you should go for Miss Heritage Ghana, represent your country. And I believe you can do it. And I was like, I don't see myself doing this in any way because I, I don't even know how i'm going to start off because i just finished one pageant one pageant right i'm diving into a different thing altogether and then she was like no just take on the course and think about it so after i don't think it was much contemplation or anything like that right because at the end of the day you're representing ghana in an international platform exactly so i spoke to my mom she's right. my mentor cheerleader cheerleader and everything my family is very supportive in terms of guys we need to be saying thank you to our mothers every single day when we wake up i mean yeah. so she told me i could do it and i also prayed about it i like to pray about stuff before i thank you you're a good girl <laughs> great so, 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 so i then decided i gave the lady a call back and i told her okay i'll do this i think it's time for me to for you to explore yeah. international platforms. That's beautiful. But then what does Miss Heritage champions? Okay. So Miss Heritage is all about promoting our uh, tradition, culture. Um, should I say um, our traditions, culture and heritage. Okay. They are just trying to promote who the con your country is okay. basically two ladies right yeah. beautiful so aside pageantry i am reading about you you've done a, um, a couple of fashion shows like the Accra fashion week yeah. you've done global um, fashion, show. fashion show and i think you, you were even a discovery model for um what global you call it fashion. global fashion show like tell me like 
what's what took you there and first and foremost i think it belongs to a model agency yes and uh, which model that's pema model agency yes. so tell me about pema model agency i joined pema modeling agency way back i think 2000 and was it 19 if okay. i'm right so like i said earlier on i was an introvert Okay, I sure. I just went to the modeling agency to be confident, mm -hmm. to be able to approach people and all that. So, Perma actually groomed me to be the lady I am today. Like, right see, today. and I'm very grateful. It took, and I was also looking for an agency where I couldn't lose my God factor and all that because we, our parents were scared. You know, Ghana, when you're a model, parents are scared that yeah, you might like, dive into... You might get ashtray and all of exactly. that. But this agency taught me that it's not about the, the sector you find yourself in. It's about you yourself. Exactly. And they taught me to be myself everywhere I go and not to be ignorant of who I am when I'm taking my step. I should always remember who I am whenever I'm going somewhere. So, yes, they groomed me to be the strong lady focused i can't talk much about it because when i want to talk about that i think we'll have a long a conversation, conversation. and so it's a really great agency that you can all try to go and develop your confidence and stuff there so i think one day three months into the agency our boss told me i should go for a show and i was like go for a show how and then he was like, I know you can do it. You just need a push. And I was like, I've been barely here. F like, no, it's, it's not. I was thinking about one year after okay. being on like a fashion show. But here you are telling me it's like a couple of months that I should go for a show. Okay. That's to work on a runway Way show. And I was like, no, I don't think I can. So he was like, you proved to me I can. So he actually signed up for me for aqua uh, no not aqua fashion show the afra k fashion afra -K. K fashion show it was a uh, graduates graduates fashion, fashion, show. fashion show right so that was my first show actually okay and i realized that oh i was very shaky but later on my boss because of the, that you didn't have pictures of it on your instagram i do actually but my account has been hacked several times so that's why you don't see pictures of it there oh okay yes and i currently posted a picture um from a craft fashion show I, it's not currently there was one dress with a hoodie on and yeah. on that yeah that's from a craft uh, that's for Afra Afra K. K, sorry so that was my first show and it went well i had people telling me oh you did great you did great and when people tell you you did great you know it motivates you to it's motivates to do more right yes. so i from there they kept putting me on shows Sometimes I go for casting, a craft fashion show, I went for the casting and then I got a call that I was picked. Global fashion show, the same thing. So I was picked. From there I was like, oh, okay. And started opening up to the world around me and also trying to connect and network with people Definitely. and also, yes. So, yeah. So through all of these, have you been to any audition that you, you were not picked before? Mm, I think yes. One. One fashion show in Ghana here, yes. And what was the reason for not picking you? Um, there was no reason. They you know for casting, they don't even casting in Ghana here, they don't even tell you the reason why you were not picked. Pick, so right. they'll just tell you you hear from us and then the next day you see some will add you to a group, some would um not add you to a group, or you don't even get a call. So when I we don't give you reasons why you are not part of the show. I get it. <laughs> And following your conversation, right? It's like every pageant or any uh, competition, what competition you've uh, done, you always stand up, uh, like stand out, like stand out, because from the uh, uh, the, the, the guy, you were first run up, Miss Ghana top five, um, Miss Heritage queen, you, you queen. Yeah. second second run out for supermodels Super africa yeah. like these are incredible incredible like feat to achieve do you think what do you think 
um makes you stand out and makes you get all of these um um chop all these achievements let me put it like that so i would say it's the favor of god or oh, yeah first of all it's favor of god i don't think um i've ever imagined being um a runner up or a queen before i have never imagined it before so the favor of god speaks for you wherever you go when you have god in you like the first when god is um the number one in your life one on one. he speaks on behalf of you despite maybe people because there are there are lots of people in competitions and you can't say um they are not good they are equally good god, so right. if you are going if you're intelligent you're smart you still need the god factor to give you that favor and stuff so yes the favor of god hard work i'll say hard work all right and should i say you have uh, been a bit uh, queen, queen or participating in pageantry you have to be smart right we you mean, have when it comes to intellect you need to be very 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 smart smart very smart well you've said what everybody can say <laughs> right but then there's this notion that you're a beautiful girl Thank you. and i know regardless of the uh competitions you've participated in in one year the other there are male <laughs> organizers and what have you yeah. there has been this notion or it's a notion <laughs> It can even be a myth or a misconception that these some of these male organizers ask you girls out for whatever reasons okay. you understand and with that they promise you girls of winning and what have you mm -hmm. have you encountered such a situation have i encountered such a uh, let me see situation for pageantry no i haven't for pardon you no no but what's of the world of modeling the world of modeling definitely um the world of modeling is not different from the world we find ourselves in definitely when you walk about even in um should i say this world you definitely meet someone on the way that will say oh i can help you maybe the person is rich or something the person will definitely ask you definitely tell you that oh i can help you and all that so the world of modeling is not different from the world we find ourselves in <laughs> so wherever you uh, as a lady wherever you find yourself you are going to meet people like that mm -hmm. but it's up to you to know what you want how you want to get it done and all that so yes there are people in the modeling modeling industry that will do that but have you fallen into those traps yes i have but i i didn't fall for the trap you didn't fall for the trap no but you encountered it but i've you encountered for, for I've, I've encountered so, which means that all your feats you've achieved uh let me say um pristine they are clean and what of you right yes Great. totally great 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 so aside modeling aside beauty pageant as a as a degree would i in uh, human development and psychology, psychology do you have any corporate life so um currently i'm working at a company so i don't think they would like me to mention, to mention the name the or anything fine, i have fine. to verify right. that this. yes so confidentiality i work as a customer service there for oh, now for now yeah for now okay okay so there were many courses in school mm -hmm. what's uh what's causing in senior high school general arts so there are many courses why human development and psychology i've always been interested in the way humans think and i was trying to also get to know how we process our like our knowledge, knowledge and, and all that right because i've I was like I said earlier on, I didn't understand why I was that quiet type and all that. And my sisters were outspoken and I saw different people behaving in different manners, manners and, whatever. and all that. So I just, I was just interested in the course. And there was one lady actually in the university. She was very smart, very outspoken and she was a clinical psychologist. So she was actually a doctor. Okay. And I was like, wow, a lady like who can stand tall and like talk and exactly and all that and people were like the course is difficult the course is difficult don't like try it with another course mm -hmm. and i was like i actually want to do this this lady has been able to do it why not why and can't she was you? an hod 
I think yeah, at that time she was an HOD, and I was like, no, why can't I? Like, you I also want to, I also want to do this course. Yes, then I just started doing to it, and it was, it's interesting. It's interesting, right? Very. Studying psychology is really, really very, very. I studied a part of it, even though it's quite. Um, it takes smart minds to actually understand psychology. So okay. I think you are smart. <laughs> you are smart. You are smart. I will not lie mm-hmm. about it. So um, you were supposed to um, represent Ghana in the Miss Heritage Global wow. last year in South Africa. Yeah. That was 14 to 23rd of September. Yeah. But you weren't able to embark on that trip. Yeah. What was the reason? So, um, unfortunately, um, the CEO of Miss Heritage Global, uh, she lost their husband. Okay. So oh, due to sorry. those unforeseen circumstances, circumstances, we had to postpone the whole show to this year for her to be able to grieve the husband very well and also make sure everything goes on smoothly. So, and did that have uh, any bad effect on you? No, everything was still intact and it was, I don't think it had any bad um, effect on me. I, I think it had actually had a good effect on me because I had more time to prepare for this year because um, I think I was Miss Heritage Global for just a few months before the, the D-Day. Okay. So it being postponed gave me much time. It's actually giving me more time now to, to prepare. actually prepare yourself. Yes. Right. So let's go through your preparation process like what have you been doing i mean because you had like you weren't able to represent ghana last year so definitely this year you're going mm-hmm. and you going like it's like you've had enough time to prepare for this yeah. take us through the process so um we are currently working on a um, mess heritage um project right yes it's a project that we'll get into your the project yes, yes but then they take me through the process how the process has been maybe there's a cut work section mm-hmm. and all of that so there hasn't been any catwalk session yet there hasn't been um should i say i think it's more about fitting being fit um so before um you continue right <laughs> Um, have you guys tuned yourself to know what Miss Heritage Global actually wants in their yes. queens? Yes. Do you know what? Yes. I've what actually is that? Been. So they want someone who can sell, market their um, tradition and heritage. Someone who of is their local. various countries. Yes. Someone who can be able to stand up and say, okay, this is my heritage. I believe in it and ask like according to who they are so even in our list of stuff we are told to dress our dresses have to be a touch of african african if you're african don't try to be foreign and wear gowns that would oh i now understand you have to really know more about your country because they are going to talk about it they are, you have to be educated all around i can't say i'm votarian so i have to be only centered on, on voting. No, you have to like learn across cut across every region in, in ghana you have to do documentaries that will sell out your country sure. you have to there is even a debate that you okay so as someone who can basically speak for the country talk more about their heritage knows more about their heritage so if you can't do that i'm yeah. sorry <laughs> she said if you cannot do that i am sorry miss heritage it's not your place so it's, it's not. not your place i'm telling you people it's not. so if you want to be like <laughs> queen francisca mish like by now you should start rehearsing all of these lines you understand how to sell your country so ghana is blessed with a lot of heritage right mm-hmm. traditions what of yeah. you what is that one tradition that you are so intrigued about that today today if they ask you even if i wake you up from bed and i ask you tell me about this tr- tradition you can rattle it without making we have Mistakes. I know more about my tradition actually. I don't right. know more about other people's traditions, but I have a fair idea about each region, something about their traditions. So, when you go to the Volta region, right? <laughs> even though I've not, I've not lived in the Volta region like my my whole life. You've I've, not lived in Volta region. You've own, lived in where? Greater Accra. But oh, my own, like you people, you know. 
my region actually accommodates everybody. Like they come from their regions and they don't even want to go back. <laughs> You've lived in the Greater Accra all this while. Yes. Like where? Where specific? So I've moved from North Kaneshi to right. Fadama to Taifa. Yeah. So I've been okay. going around all the time. For where you are now, we are not going to disclose it for <laughs> privacy or safety sex. So yeah. l- l- let's get on that. So, so tell me, you said uh, you've not lived in the Volta region before. No, but yes. I had my mom like grooming me. So I can speak a way fluently. Fluent. You can't take that out. Okay, so but I've actually visited my hometown. I think I do visit my hometown. Wait, what? What, what is your hometown? So it's Saviope Agopu. Saviope. Saviope Agopu. Agopu. It's in Ho. It's in so, Ho. Which of the districts in? So I think it's in Ho West. Mm. Around Ho West. Yeah, yes, yeah, I'm sure. It's, it's not far from Saviope, so it's fine. So you see, um. You told me already uh, behind cameras that I look stunning, right? So tell me in ever. <laughs> should I should look. I, I should tell you in ever that you look good, right? Yes. If you look stunning. You say, "Oh, you look good." You can tell the person. Enyakonto. Enyakonto. Yeah. Enyakonto. See, guys. Well, some people can even say ejetude. Ejetude. That means you look beautiful. Or right. So before that, you were about to speak about your tradition. That the one that I asked you that. You can when I wake you up from bed, you can just ride it into that. One thing about <laughs> Ghana, one tradition about Ghana that cannot stop is thank you and please. Okay. We have actually, we, if we are, we don't have anything in common at all, our whole tradition tells us, or our culture tells us that you have to say thank you, thank you, and please, and please. Even though right. we see ourselves as different, like different ethnic groups and all that, this one tradition you can't take it from all Ghanaians beautiful so you said when you go to mes heritage global right you're not only supposed to project the voltarian no. culture tradition and what have you no so let's take the guns like this what can you project about the guns so um for mine so mes heritage global is going to have different um should i say they have different structures all on board they have talent show and all that so for the talent show i'll be doing something related to the gang Okay. Thinking. So we are still working on it. I want to get my dictions right and all that. So I'm still working on it. That's so really. for my um should I say cultural attire? It's something from the uh, shanties and stuff. So I'm trying to cut across every angle. Angle. Yes. So that I would my people will not say you know my people. Definitely. Will not say I'm representing one particular region or something so it's it's quite difficult because you have to learn about every it's true i think you need to be much open to Very. new things i Very. know we'll talk behind closed i'll give you an idea when it comes to your national costume to? you really need For the to costume, i think we, we are almost done you're almost done with it and I it's see. going to be a surprise actually whoa so she said it's a surprise so we all are <laughs> anticipating why right? we should anticipate yeah. the best right because i it's for instance big. i'm a big time critic about <laughs> ladies who represent yeah. ghana internationally not only you a lot of people are <laughs> and you too i can see that from you <laughs> i get it so coming back to the process yeah. what else i mean aside the fitness and what have you so what else again we do health screenings we i go for health screenings make sure everything is good in touch yeah so health screenings even my i visit the dentist we have to make sure mm, i think i saw one post on your this one is a smart train something yeah, smile okay. center smile center okay yeah. so um i think the only thing we haven't touched on is my cattle sections and also my projects that's the only two stuffs that i know we haven't touched on yet all right but that's not also an, a very big issue because already you're yeah, a model right <laughs> But I still need to rehearse mm-hmm. and all that before I leave. But we have, um, we've scheduled it for months, some months and all that. Everything has its duration. So when it gets there, we move to this stage, we move to that stage and all that. So, right. So uh, when are you going for the um, Miss Heritage, Heritage Global? Global? Um, it's happening on the 23rd of September. September. All right. So it's like September is the... I think 21st. It's 21st, 21st. actually. Because we have to get, we have to be there. On 21st. It depends on where you are flying from. So 
I okay, think it's so first. Is, is it still taking place in South Africa this yes. year? I mean, you're going to the rainbow land, the land with beautiful sun. I mean, when I see South Africa sun, like, I'm always jealous. Um, Right away from the Miss Richard Global, you've taken us through the process. I think it's a remarkable one. And already I am anticipating, like, I can't wait. I can't wait to see Francesca represent Ghana where she will stand on the global scene. Like, my name is Francesca. Well, representing Ghana. Ghana. That would be beautiful, right? No, you can give us a free stuff. No, Miss Heritage is it's not going to be like that. It's not going to be like that. No. Oh, okay. So, Miss Heritage, what is your choice to that? Um, should I say Miss Heritage is more, they normally announce who the you, country is already that, and you just cut to work to your face so have you that. um gone to witness it for yourself i've not witnessed it for myself but i have seen the videos um and i've spoken to a number of the past queens for miss heritage and i have a fair idea about how it's going to it's be like going to be like beautiful beautiful i think that's a great one so <laughs> way back on um miss ghana yeah i saw you you launched a team and the team was bu yeah what was bu about bu is actually the project that we're about to launch oh so. okay <laughs> okay 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 so, for the miss heritage program yes oh, okay okay yeah. but then on your instagram post on 13 june 2022 wow you wrote my goal is to empower us all to understand that it is okay not to be okay mm -hmm. what was it basically about so um we leave that's that quote or that phrase that was written there was from an experience okay. from like from yeah from my life and all that where yeah, people think because you are this person you don't have to uh, feel or have certain emotions emotions right and people desist from sharing how they feel, feel to people right and then is it actually affects those people later on in life so i wrote that because i want people to know that when you're not okay you're not okay definitely and you just have to fine. voice it out like it's actually there is no right. problem with you not being okay most definitely and, most definitely and we live in a society where people will tell you that uh, be strong yeah uh, and all and those kind of stuff so it shouldn't be so definitely when the person is it. not okay the person is not okay. okay allow the person to voice out right so that post was about that so was there anything in related to your awareness creation on mental health Career. so i think why are you not channeling so because since you're human development and um psychology degree holder right why are you not channeling that energy into the mental health but rather be you for so it? it's actually channeled into it it's actually channeled yes into it. so be you is like into divisions okay we have be you as a nation and be you as an individual be you as a nation <laughs> and as like nation as in okay we're gonna is gonna bring gonna whatever so if you are like today i'm dressed in an african prince i'm wearing gonna i'm wearing representing Ghana. Ghana. so with food we have to like teach our kids to eat banku and all that's not always pizza or no, <laughs> hey so are you so, sure you don't eat pizza like no, i do eat it but you know they are people who don't eat banku and all those things and they like more of the foreign like we should have a taste for foreign we we uh, our local stuff more than the foreign stuff that's how we can promote our culture so if we don't eat our own stuff who do we want like to eat it definitely so it's also part of like promoting our heritage because okay. all this food is part of our culture and all that it's part of the way who we are so right definitely so one of the um i think you being a uh, miss heritage global and uh, aside that all oh, the feats you've achieved in this modern and parliamentary space right i know it has opened a lot of opportunities for you mm -hmm. definitely because i even think i saw a post of you being a uh, guest on rabbi starlet yes. season three do you think it's one of the opportunities you receive as a result of 
doing all of these things and currently being yes. the titleist for this particular yes title. i think um being out there gives you that network that you that connection and growth you need in your life for Ravi Stalis, I didn't really meet her during Miss Heritage okay. Global. I met Ravi during Miss Super Models uh, Africa. Some other time. Yeah, there was one project. I think that during the finale, she told me, if you ever think about acting, contact me during okay. the finale. So uh, that was when I actually knew yeah, Ravi. I know Ravi, and uh, Ravi is one person that actually champions new faces a lot. Yeah. So that was the first time I met her and then she actually spoke to me, but she might not remember. <laughs> so, okay. So I don't, uh, this is all about you exposing. This platform gives you that exposure that exposure. you need. I don't think if I was in my room, I would ever meet Rabi anyway. Right. <laughs> so there has been instances where pardon you queens have come out to say that receiving support mm -hmm. is very difficult and even the recent one was when um miriam <laughs> olasi of miss ghana was about representing ghana in new delhi india for the miss world competition she said on the late afternoon show that it is very difficult to receive support as a beauty queen in your case can you see that yes i can think that um because um people believe okay we actually believe that if this person is miss ghana if this person is miss heritage yeah. if this person is miss universe that means she has a management behind her and those managements should be able to provide everything she everything needs she but we shouldn't just leave the work on the management alone it takes a whole like nation or country to prepare the person for that competition Definitely. so sometimes we are relaxed because we feel like that person has like a manage a, like a management team but it shouldn't be that way if you sit behind and you feel that way and the person goes to represent and you see her dress and you comment on it badly then you are you're a bad person excuse yeah. me to say because no, maybe she even say excuse me to say then you are a bad person because if you knew you had the means to support this person Definitely. don't just wait on the management to do that also stretch forth your hands or and help the person yeah. out so we shouldn't just leave the work to the management alone right we should if we want to be represented well, we should also say, oh, what's, it's, it's nice class. for you to actually ask, oh, what can we do to, to support? support and some people, it, you see it, uh, they, you see them come to the comment section and they'll write, what can we do to support her? Can, should, how can we vote? That's very nice of them to do. But there are others that wouldn't do anything at all and then come to comment about. So in terms of support, we actually need it. We shouldn't just leave all the work to the management to the and all management. That. so francisca says we shouldn't leave all the work to the management mm -hmm. at the end of the day so far as she's representing ghana then it demands collective effort from everybody so you're a fashion designer you're a makeup artist you are a makeup brand you are every kind of wig brand everything something you know that when this girl projects out there is going to make who knows like she's even going to win the and uh, the title and bring it to ghana and it's going to be it's not going to be in their name okay yes she'll be the face of the person who won but then she's representing as ghana so please it's a collaborative effort at the end of the day so please fashion designers wig makers makeup brand shoe brands every brand out there that is into the pageantry space please it's a collective effort so please let's do our best to support francisca as she back on this journey so on this support conversation still on it right i saw you go to my very own uncle <laughs> the gar manche yeah um what has the visitation of the Ghana Manche got to do with Miss Heritage Global and so, Ghana. You see, I am, I'm also saying global. It's like, it's like you've won or... Amen. I think it's an affirmation of everything. So, today is a... Today is a sign. No, no, no. Today... Today, okay. Today is Palm Sunday and we keep manifesting this. See, receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> 
So. All right. So, what has your visitation got to do uh, of the yeah. gown munch? I mean, the 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 the, the supreme, the, the the rule of the garland, got to do with Miss Heritage Ghana. So, um, the like I said earlier on, the franchise has changed. It has moved to a different person, and this okay. person is working with the gown munch. So, right. it was proper and right for us to go to him to crown me as Miss Heritage Ghana, and. Let's stay tuned. There, there is actually going to be a pageantry that will be launched very soon in Ghana. From really? that, from that side. From that side. Yes. Right. And you said what? There is a pageant. Yes, coming. there is a pageant that will be coming up very soon. Very soon. And it's from that angle, that side. I see. So that's can we say speaking. that the Gamancha is supporting your journey too? Very. Then I think you are blessed. Amen. You are blessed. Very blessed. You are blessed, right? So, um, um, getting to the last part of our conversation, right? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Like we've already said that okay, it's a collaborative effort, right? Mm -hmm. For what of you to, if you have the means to support, they should come on board, right? You're a young lady, right? I know you're a very young okay. lady, but then you're still persevering and being determined about your goals and what of you. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. I must recommend that in the first place. What would you tell that one lady, that one young girl looking at you? What would you tell that young lady? So what I would say is don't give up on your dreams. There are going to be many, many, many obstacles in your way. There are going to be a lot of people who would talk down and there are people who definitely also motivate you to do what you have to do. But just be focused, pray to God, have him first. Like the Bible always says, when, when you seek first the kingdom of God, every other thing will be added unto you. In fact, it's not every other thing, but every good thing will be added unto you. Yeah. So just be focused, pray to God, tell him what she wants. He would also do his will in your life and work towards it because no one is going to work for you. Definitely, no one is definitely. going to work for you. So. I get it. So before you go in, let me pick your brain on this thing. You know, they have uh, Ghana up to accommodate the, uh, the African is it the west african games mm, right the african games. yeah the african games yeah. right somebody who is into fitness and you are doing your fitness process for the message global <laughs> like what is your general impression about the african games so um i followed closely i think during the match the princesses match and then the guys as well there. so it was very great it was very nice to watch ladies play, play with that energy and right. everything so i was very impressed with them and also the guys i was i i was very really impressed and then i think for the first time we've won a lot of medals like we had i think about 68 or so medals yeah i think around 60 something yeah so i'm very impressed i think formally they said we had about 11. oh yeah it's started on a very bad note it's true i think the previous yes we had about 11 and okay. then today we are having about 60, 60 some, some, something something it's it's really great and it's really great and all that so really. from that aspect i can just see this for me really really so um how can my viewers um um get in touch with you with regards to supporting miss heritage global so if you want to support me you'd just on instagram you can reach out to me if you want to support me or at qtsika or you just type francisca agama i'll pop up right francisca and on agama. facebook it's still francisca agama. agama and yep i'm just on facebook and instagram instagram yeah. and that's fine maybe there is a corporate okay would you like to put your number out yes there is a number that you can reach me reach me also I but you'll not get me directly you get the money to me management right yes and that's Zero five nine four one eight five five one zero. I take it again. Zero five nine four one eight five five one zero. Right, 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 right. Thank you so much for. You're welcome. Amen. And thank you for having me as well. Oh, 
always here will come. Guys, I think the beauty of life is to support each other. Francisca, as I already said in my intro, and listening from herself, is a determined and persevered lady. She's ready. She's poised. She's on the process of representing Ghana on a global stage, Miss Heritage Global 2024. I think it's just beautiful that we support Francesca because at the end of it all, the glory comes to Ghana. So please find ways and means to reach out to Francesca. And I mean, the little token you can give to support Francesca, Francesca and I, myself, will gladly be grateful. This is where we wrap up on today's edition of the Industry Insider Show right here on Model TV Ghana. It has been an inspiring conversation and I know you're going to get inspired. My name has always been the phenomenal Can You Be Nikwe. So we meet again same time ne next week. Don't forget to click on our subscribe button to subscribe to our channel. Leave a comment, like our content and I mean, that's a little way you can support us. Thank you so much and enjoy the rest of your week. It's bye-bye for now.